اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشینٹ دا موسٹ گریشیس دا موسٹ مرسیفل دس از انجینئر فیصل اجاز اینڈ ٹو ڈے آئی ایم پریزنٹنگ ا لیکچر آن دا مینوفیکچرنگ پروسیس آف امونیم سلفیٹ آلسو آئی وانٹ ٹو انٹروڈیوس مائی یوٹیوب چینل آف انٹائٹل کیمیکل انجینئرنگ ایج ٹیک اینڈ ان دس چینل آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ڈفرنٹ بٹ امپورٹنٹ ٹاپکس and uh, the entitle of these topics uh, you are watching at background pages and if you will subscribe my channel then you will get my latest videos today i am presenting a lecture on industrial manufacturing process of uh, ammonium sulfate and uh, that ammonium sulfate may be produced with the help of two industrial methods the first one is by destructive distillation of coal and uh, in the second method we may produce ammonium sulfate with the help of uh, synthetic ammonia and calcium sulfate According to raw materials, gypsum, carbon dioxide, ammonia, sulfuric acid and water is involved in the manufacturing of ammonium sulfate and according to chemical reactions, ammonia, water, carbon dioxide react with each other to form ammonium carbonate and that ammonium carbonate uh, in the next stage react with calcium sulfate and we get our product ammonium sulfate. In the manufacturing process of ammonium sulfate, nine manufacturing steps are involved and the first one is crushing and grinding of gypsum, preparation of ammonia carbonate and the third one is preparation of ammonium sulfate and the fourth one is scrubbing and recycling of unreacted gases and the fifth one is filtration of ammonium sulfate solution and the sixth one is neutralization of ammonium sulfate solution and the seventh one is concentration of ammonia sulfate solution and uh, the eighth one is centrifuging of concentrated ammonia sulfate solution and the ninth is drying and packing of solid ammonium sulfate. I am going to explain each manufacturing step from nine steps which are involved in manufacturing of ammonium sulfate. So in the first step which is crushing and grinding of gypsum. So in this step with the help of crushers and grinders uh, we crush and grind lumps of gypsum. So as a result we obtain two types of product sizes and the required size sent to the next section for further processing but over size recycled to get required size. According to step 2 which is preparation of uh, ammonium carbonate and in this process absorption tower is used and uh, in this process ammonia and carbon dioxide absorbed into water and as a result we get ammonium carbonate and ammonium bicarbonate. So in this absorption process gases ammonia and carbon dioxide entered from bottom of the tower and water shower from top of tower so counter current reaction take place and as a result we get ammonium carbonate and ammonium bicarbonate. According to third step which is preparation of uh, ammonium sulfate and in this step previous method products which are ammonium carbonate and bicarbonate are react with crushed gypsum in a reactor around uh, temperature 65 till 70 centigrade and that mixture agitated continuously as a result we get ammonium sulfate and calcium carbonate according to step 4 which is scrubbing and recycling of unreacted gases so in this step unreacted gases ammonia and carbon dioxide passed through scrubber where showering of solution of ammonium carbonate and remaining gases exit into atmosphere According to step 5 which is preparation of ammonium sulfate solution 
so in this step at stage one uh, we will filter the material which we obtained during previous section from a reactor so for this purpose the material will pass through filter and uh, after that uh, we will separate ammonium sulfate solution and calcium carbonate and for this purpose we will use rotary vacuum filter also we will get some impurities and during stage 2 we will add 1% ammonia gas into the solution according to step 6 which is neutralization of ammonium sulfate solution so in this step we neutralize ammonium sulfate solution which we obtain as a result of filtration and also 1% ammonia is present in solution which we mix during filtration so we will neutralize that solution with the help of sulfuric acid so free ammonia gas and sulfuric acid uh, will react to each other and as a result we will get ammonium sulfate during this neutralization process pH must be controlled between 4 and 5. According to step 7 which is concentration of ammonium sulphate solution. So in this step solution of ammonium sulphate concentrated to form crystals of ammonium sulphate. So for this purpose multiple effect evaporators are used and after formation of crystals material is sent to the next section. According to step 8 which is centrifuging of concentrated ammonium sulphate. So in this step crystals of ammonium sulphate and liquid ammonium sulphate uh, separated through centrifugation and liquid ammonia sulphate recycled to process and crystals are sent to the next section for drying and packing. According to ninth step which is drying and packing so in this section dryers are used and uh, we will get solid ammonium sulphate and uh, after that it is ready to pack. At the end I am providing process flow diagram of ammonium sulphate and uh, you can match all the data with this uh, diagram and uh, after that you will be more confident and you will understand better and uh, thanks to join us.